Hello. Gonna go give them to Teddy. Gonna try and get a stroke. You're gonna give Teddy his milkies. He's waiting, look. <laughs> He's waiting, look, Noah. Every morning he picks out Teddy's little milkies <laughs> and tries to give them to him, and it's just the cutest thing ever. You must have seen me do it like every morning and then. <laughs> He's just started getting a hoard of milkies and we say Teddy will love it when Noah learns to open them because he gets about four or five. <laughs> Teddy only usually has one. This Gruffalo suit is literally our favourite thing. <laughs> just walking round in a Gruffy suit. You're going to put them back? This is favourite thing to do. Get things out, put things back. Good morning, my loves. I hope you're all really well. Did you just see Teddy? throw himself off the top of the cupboards we also have tilly here today literally right here i feel like you guys are just very used to this by now cats falling from the ceiling cats just everywhere anyway my loves i hope you're all really well this vlog is one of my favorites oh here we go hello tilly oh it's just another day in the cat sanctuary guys i'm like a broken record I was saying this vlog is gonna be one of the coziest vlogs because tomorrow we are going to the pumpkin patch which is one of my favorite autumnal days of the whole year it's such a fun day out um, we're actually going to a different pumpkin patch tomorrow I feel like we go to a new one every single year so we're going to Ha Ha Farms tomorrow. So I'm looking forward to seeing what that's like and taking you guys along. And yeah, it's gonna be a really fun day. Um, but this morning, I've got my big cup of tea in my pumpkin mug. Mr. Gruffalo has just gone up for his nap. And I've just received this week's Hello Fresh box. You guys know we get a Hello Fresh box every single week we have done for the past few years. Honestly, oh. Tilly is here and Teddy is here, just either side of you guys. You can see Tilly's ear here. Like, why do we all need to gather on the windowsill at this exact time? Anyway, you guys know how much we love HelloFresh as a family. Noah really enjoys the meals as well, so it's just amazing. So convenient to have fresh ingredients and delicious recipes delivered to our door every single week. It just really helps us out. So we tend to get three meals for three people each week, but you can completely customize that. So you can choose how many meals you would like per week for how many people. And also HelloFresh is really flexible, which I love. So say there's a week where you're away for the week or you have other dinner plans, you can pause the week really easily. You can also change the delivery date, the delivery address, and you can also cancel really easily as well. And if you haven't tried HelloFresh, now is the perfect time. I have an amazing discount code for you guys. I'll leave a direct link down below if you click that. It will automatically apply my discount code. And just as a little example of how much you can save, I like to see like a visual. I'll pop it on screen now. By using my code, you can get five meals for two people for only 16 pounds 80. That's all your dinners sorted for your entire like Monday to Friday week. I just think that is such an amazing saving. So definitely take advantage of that. The meals that we got this week all look so yummy. First up, we got a butter chicken with peas and flaked almonds. Noah's favorite food is curry. So I think we're gonna have this one tonight. <gasps> this is one of my favorite HelloFresh meals. It is just wow. It's the ultimate chicken satay. And this is just, oh, it's so, so delicious. And then lastly, I picked up the sweet and sticky chicken. Now this is one of HelloFresh's new recipes and it's from the super quick range. So HelloFresh have bought out a selection of recipes which you can create in under 
15 minutes, which I think is so convenient for like a midweek meal when you don't have a lot of time, but you want a really delicious home cooked meal super quick. So I'm gonna save this for a night in the week where it's a busy nursery evening and I just wanna get like a really yummy quick dinner prepared. So yeah, I will leave a direct link down below for HelloFresh with my discount code and enjoy it whilst you can because that is such an amazing saving. It is freezing. Like it's actually freezing. It is 11 degrees. I have waited for this moment. <sighs> what a time to be alive. It's freezing. Oh, it's finally actually weather to wear a jumper. You know what guys, dare I say it? I feel a little bit festive today. I feel a little bit Christmassy. I feel like as soon as the temperature drops, I am like, ho, ho, ho. Christmas is on its way. To be honest, we transition into Christmas mode on November the 1st, so there's actually not long until Christmas begins, which is so exciting. And I'm kind of, I'm about to choose a playlist to listen to, and I'm like, do we start the process of defrosting Mr. Michael Bublé? Like, can we start that yet? But then I'm like, we should wait. We should wait until at least, at least November 1st, shouldn't we? Okay, my loves, we are about to pop out to one of our favorite places. We're going to B&M for one of two reasons. Number one, speaking of Christmas, I have seen these boucle stockings with gold embroidered initials on everywhere and I am just absolutely dying to get my hands on them. I think they'll look so nice in our living room. So I really want to get my hands on those today and I'd like to have a little look around all of the B&M Christmas decor as well. But the reason I need to go to B&M is because I need just like a top up of bits that you only get from B&M. Like I need lots of cleaning products. We've run out of a lot. Um, and just like, you know, like bin bags and batteries, that kind of stuff that I feel like I only really ever buy from B&M. Oh, something else Christmas related. I've got Christmas on the brain today. <laughs> we booked our annual Christmas trip to Centre Parks the other night and I'm so excited. Do you guys remember me saying last year when we took Noah to Centre Parks, I think it was like end of November, that we really wanted to do that every single year because I think as he gets older, like each age, he's just going to love it. There's going to be so much for him to do. Um, and it was just the most magical time. It was so, so special. So yeah, we booked that for November, which I'm so excited about. I love having like a Christmassy, a little Christmassy trip to look forward to. Let me know if there's any like Christmassy things that you do with your little ones. I'd love to do the Polar Express train ride, um, but I think that'll be better for Noah when he's maybe like four or five. Um, but yeah, let me know. I cannot wait to take you guys along with us for our annual Centre Parks trip. If you saw last year's vlog, I wonder if Noah will still do his elf noise. <laughs> I'll link it down below if you haven't seen it, but Noah was about six months old and he saw these like elves in these like snow globes that we went to see every night because there was like a little mini winter wonderland. And every time he saw them, he did this specific noise, which I've actually not really heard. We're convinced it's like some kind of elf language. And he goes, <coughs> at them so I wonder if we'll do that again. We're nearly at B&M now so I will see you guys when we're there. Cannot wait to browse the Christmas aisles. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Oh my god guys look. <gasps> guys look what I found. I'm so happy. I didn't realise they had matching little Santa sacks as well. The only problem is I can only find a G and an N. I can't find a J. <laughs> there is no J's. I've looked through like a hundred times hoping that one just appears. So I'm thinking, is that J? No, it's C. I'm thinking I might need to get M and D for mummy and daddy and then an N for Noah. But how gorgeous are these? I just think they're so lovely with the little gold detail 
and I love that they have the matching Santa sacks. They are so nice. This section is just wow. I can see so many nice bits. There is a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cup my tea I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am holy? Back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. Wait, hold on. Guys, the cute Christmas mugs and BM have landed. There's so many nice ones. This little holly one is so cute. And this merry and bright grass one. Look at the robin and the mushroom. And then this ho 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 one. Love that, and that's a really nice size as well. Then we've got these little reindeer ones with some gold details, so cute. There's so much nice tableware as well, like these little Christmas tree plates and bowls. And then I also spotted down here, sorry, is that not Zara? This gorgeous glass Christmas tree bowl with like the gold. There's these little glass Christmas tree ones so many cute mugs and then also these little ones with spoons they'd make such lovely stocking fillers there's a little stocking one candy cane these bowls are amazing they are absolutely huge there's a fa la 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 ho 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 oh i get cozy and then these big santa boot oh my god it's a jug santa boot jug that is so cool you could definitely serve your gravy in that on christmas day and then look at these big Santa boot bowls. I'm a sucker for anything Santa. Just love him. Little Santa bowl, little glasses. What are these down here? How oh, cute, it's like a little sleigh surfboard. If I could take you back to my youth And show you what I wish I'd knew My will is strong with a place to lean In the moment I hung best belief The other ring on my wrist is gold Bearing with the light it holds When I, I return from my I always think these packs of baubles are just so good Like these and these ones in the little bag because you get so many in there and also these mini ones i always use these to decorate the tree three pounds for 40 mini baubles they've got loads of really nice ones this year these are so pretty and this pack here so nice this section makes me feel nostalgic who remembers my blush pink and gold tree kind of miss it <gasps> these are so cute. Little pink trees. Oh, they're so nice. Hold on. Put me together. Take me back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. Wait. Hold on. Put me together. Take me back where I belong. all gone. I am home from b and Oh my goodness, I cannot wait for you to see inside these bags. I feel like this was actually one of my favourite B&M trips that I've been on in a while. The Christmas stuff is so nice and as you guys probably guessed, 
I got my hands on. I'm so excited about these. I can't believe my B&M had these. Usually my B&M just has the same stock for about five years good running. Um, but oh my god, I'm so happy with these. How gorgeous are they with the little pom-poms? I just think these look so expensive and they are going to look so 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 cute on our fireplace this christmas these were five pounds i mean just what a bargain gorgeous stocking for five pounds and then you guys knew my dilemma they only had a g and an n they had no j and i was even thinking like what else could we call jamie <laughs> like what initial can we get that jamie can just be at christmas i was even thinking of like getting an i and then even like stitching on a bit of like the J and then I thought no, let's just get mummy, daddy and Noah because I'm always gonna be mummy, Jamie's always gonna be daddy and Noah's always gonna be Noah so it doesn't really matter. Um, so yeah, I got D for dada, N for Noah and M for mama. They're gonna look so cute. And I picked up this little 40 pack of mini baubles i'm thinking this year's christmas tree theme is definitely going to be something with gold because i just really really love a gold christmas tree um but i'm thinking of adding more like chocolates nice chocolate brown um because as you guys have seen we're redoing the living room and we're having a lot of like chocolate brown in there so i just think it will really tie everything together so i got these little mini ones these gorgeous glittery bronzy ones gold and then we've got some darker brown ones and these were three pounds i just think the bauble packs in b&m are so good like you get so many really pretty ones for really really affordable price then something else i was so happy to find are these little glittery bottle brush are they called a bottle brush tree i think they are but they just they're very like farmhousey <laughs> aren't they and i feel like they're just gonna look so cute scattered around our home especially like on these shelves and i was thinking these could look really nice as well on the fireplace in the living room and i think they're a good little decor piece to add like touches of christmas around the kitchen the hallway the shelving unit um the living room like that adds a little bit of a christmas touch without it feeling like clutter so i picked up two gold ones these were one pound 50 each and then i got one green one because there was only one green one left they also had really nice like sagey green ones but there was only one of those left and it was broke and then these glittery white ones so cute in this bag is just a random loot just a random b m bag oh these are exciting so first up i got these snowman marshmallows and these are for our festive hot chocolates i always like to have like a little themed marshmallow on top um because i'm sad like that and at halloween i like to have a little pumpkin christmas i had these last year and i just just makes my hot chocolates feel a lot more christmasy um and they're so cute as well these would make a really cute stocking filler they had penguin ones and also reindeer ones as well, which were really cute. I also picked up these little mini, like super mini, they're so tiny, little gingerbread cookies. Again, I thought these would be so good. Pop on top of our hot chocolates in the whipped cream, like poking out. I just thought it'd be so cute. Okay, next, this is random and not Christmassy, but I just thought, I just need this in my life. So I got this three ribbed bowls with airtight lids and it's just like a stack of three different size bowls so you've got large one medium and small um and i just thought these would be great for like if we have any like leftover and to be honest i didn't really need these but can you ever have enough tupperware okay the rest of the things in this bag may be boring to some but if you like seasonal themed cleaning products you will very much enjoy the next few bits in this haul. Why do I feel emotional sniffing a bottle of Zoflora? I'm actually, I'm not normal. I'm not okay. I got some surf winter, win, winter? Winter indulgence, vanilla and oud. That sounds like a bit of me. Whenever anything is oudy, I got, I got to sniff it. <laughs> what am I saying? Ooh, ooh. Right, this is 
has inspired me to do some laundry as I, I peer into the utility room and my laundry basket is literally like this. Like this is my laundry basket and this is the top of the laundry basket. Oh my God. Oh my God, guys, I need to show you Tilly. Oh my God. I just looked down and I saw this. Oh my God. No. Why are you actually the cutest thing on earth? Oh, look at the tail between the legs. Oh, Tilly. You are so cute. I'm doing my annoying cat mum voice. Tilly. <gasps> Hello. Wow. <laughs> it's gone from cute to scary real quick. When the paws are like that, I actually can't cope. Can I touch your belly? Absolutely not, she's like. Next, I got some Sif anti back and shine multi-purpose in the winter indulgence very excited to do a christmas speed cleaning video for you guys then scrub daddy came through with the christmas tree shaped scrubby they also had a snowman as well um i'm well happy with this i'm happy with a sponge i'm very easily pleased if you can't tell it's blooming Christmas, guys. It's blooming Christmas. Get your wreaths on your doors. Get your Christmas trees out. Defrost Michael Buble immediately because Winter Spice is here. It's landed. I picked up the Winter Spice Zoflora so wipes and the Winter Spice Zoflora. So and it's, it's the big boy. Like, I got the big one. Again, new packaging. I just feel like it looks so much more festive. Let's have a sniff because it would be absolutely rude not to. It's basically Christmas Day today. Oh, oh my God, that smell. Fra la 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 la. As I was singing that, I just caught Teddy looking at me like, are you all right? Just judging me from afar. Were you judging me? Come here for a cuddle. Come here. Oh, he's a big baby. Teddy. Oh, goodbye, baby, on a treetop when the wind blows. Oh my god, I'm gonna get bunny kicked in the face. Oh, you're very lovely. I'm very fluffy. Mm. Okay, last but definitely not least, I picked up a new Febreze plug in in vanilla cookie. Doesn't that just sound dreamy? Like, I want my house to smell like vanilla cookie. And it's got a little scratch and sniff, which I haven't done yet, so let's do it together. Oh, that is so nice. Okay, my loves, I am about to do a little bit of autumn baking, and we're gonna be making some cinnamon rolls. I've been so looking forward to making these. But we're gonna do a little bit of, well, we're gonna try a little bit of a cinnamon roll hack, like an easy version, because when I made them last year, they were really, really gorgeous, but I found them quite tricky to get right, and the whole, like, the process took a long time. So, for the actual cinnamon buns, we are gonna be using a Just Roll puffed pastry sheet. I'm hoping this works, I'm thinking it will, um, I think they're going to be slightly different texture to cinnamon buns because they're usually quite doughy, aren't they? Obviously, this is going to be pastry, but I'm thinking they'll be good. They'll be a lot easier. So I'm simply just going to get this out the packet and then I'm going to make up some cinnamon sugar with some butter, cinnamon and brown sugar. Layer it on, roll it up, cut it like I would with cinnamon rolls and then pop them in the oven. But something I am going to add to this recipe is... I'm gonna make a really gooey sauce that's gonna go in the dish before the cinnamon buns. So for the sauce, I want it to be like caramelly, buttery, cinnamony, sugary. I just I really fancy just like having a really gooey cinnamon bun. And I think because puff pastry can sometimes be a little bit dry, this is just gonna help to like the gooiness. So, so yeah, let's get baking. I'm excited to see how these turn out. I'll also leave the recipe down below. So yeah, let's get cozy and bake some cinnamon rolls.
The cinnamon buns are fresh out the oven. Can you hear them bubbling away? I'm hoping this kind of like sauce cools down and goes a lot thicker because at the moment, I mean, these two look a little bit sorry, but I'm hoping they taste amazing and they're obviously going to have the cream cheese icing over the top. So I'm probably going to leave these for about an hour to really cool down. I always like to let my cinnamon buns cool down before putting the icing on anyway, otherwise it just goes too melty. So yeah, let's, <laughs> let's pray for them and we'll come back in an hour, ice them and then see how they turned out. But they smell amazing and I tried some of the caramel sauce when I made it and it was delish. We're very lucky today because we have the taste tester himself. We always know we're taste getting an tester. honest review when Jamie review. is That's reviewing my bakes. Before. Because Jamie's not afraid to tell me when my cookies taste like pizza. It's not a cookie. Remember when you told me my cookies taste like pizza that time? Hey, what are right, your first, first thoughts? Gooey. Yeah, like sticky. Reminds me of like baklava. Ooh, well, that's, that's a compliment. It. It's like syrupy. It's actually really nice. Is it? Mm. You're so, you sound surprised. <laughs> I'm also a little bit because it's falling to pieces. <laughs> they are. <laughs> it doesn't look like a cinnamon roll, but... How is they're it? They're actually nice. What do you mean they're actually nice? Well, I wasn't expecting much because it doesn't really look like a cinnamon swirl. <laughs> They've actually, they're quite like... Oh, there's a cat fight going on. Crispy? Well, are they crispy or, they're, or are they gooey? Which one is it? Both. See, I think it was the puff pastry that made it crispy. But are they nice? Teddy's just now attacking the rug. Mm. They're actually really nice. You do really like them? So they're sticky but crunchy. Well, actually, let me do my taste this time because <laughs> I feel like I went into it a bit... Hesitant. Yes. Okay, go on then. Mmm, like the toffee is a bit sticky around the edge. Ooh. They're a bit sickly, but toffee toffee. A bit too a bit toffee toffee. toffee. <laughs> Daddy's just watching in the background. I'm doing a mukbang. Mukbang, who are you? Cinnamon bung. Cinnamon mukbang. They're, they're like, these are definitely seven. Oh, that's disappointing. They're like a seven or eight. Mmm. I feel like that was a bit forced. No. Mmm, these are delicious. Jamie's mouth is just welded together by the... An eight. I'm going to give him an eight. Okay, an eight. Five Did you give there. me a sympathy point there? Was that a sympathy point? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll go with an eight. Like, so sunny, but it's yeah, not hot. not hot at all. It's actually like 
pretty cold. Exciting day ahead. Jamie is wearing jeans. No shorts today. No, no. shorts. It's, do you know what? It's only it's actually the second time. You've worn trousers. Yeah, and only because I weren't allowed to today. <laughs> Listen. If he had come down in shorts this morning, I would have been like, Jamie, we can't be wearing shorts to the, the pumpkin patch. Shorts and wellies. Looking forward to spending another cozy day with you guys at the pumpkin patch. I have been waiting 365 days to say those words. And I figured out that it was exactly a year ago today that we first ever took Noah to the pumpkin patch. <coughs> I'll show you guys a picture because it's just so cute. I can't believe how teeny he was this time last year. I've got a confession Look. to make. So cute. It's What's your confession? confession to be fair. What is your confession? This is the you first. You don't like the pumpkin patch. So this is the first year that I'm actually looking forward to going to the pumpkin patch. <laughs> what is it? A chore for you usually? <laughs> well, just because we got nowhere and before it was like it's all right to get out, but he thought it was pointless last year, basically. No, not, not point. No, not pointless. I remember you saying those words. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I feel like this year is the year he will actually really be able to enjoy it, and like wheel his little Wilbur around, and there's mini ones. yeah, they have got many ones, and there's some really cute bits for kids there. Like there's like a potion making station, and they've got um, pumpkin decorating and face painting. It just looks really, really cute. Oh, I'm very sunny right now. Getting blinded. Anyway, next time you see us, we will be surrounded by pumpkins. And I can't wait. Noah's got a little baby Chino, a ghost biscuit, and I've got this delicious hot really? chocolate. I say Noah's got a ghost biscuit, Dad has eaten most of it. <laughs> Noah's found himself a mini wheelbarrow. Come on! We're deep inside the pumpkin patch, ready to pick some pumpkins. Oh, you want to pick some wow. of that? Pop it in then, pop it in the wheelbarrow. Look at Noah's cute little <laughs> pumpkin picking outfit. You look so cute, I love your fluffy jacket. Come on then, let's push it. This reminds me of a snoz cumber from the BFG. Cute! Pumpkins have been picked. This is my one, Jamie's one, Noah's little mini one. And then I just got these ones to pop on the porch, including the snoz cumber. It is blanket hoodie season. There's a 99.9% .9 chance that you are going to see me in this blanket hoodie in every single vlog for the rest of the year. Good evening, my loves. We have been home for a little while now. We had the loveliest afternoon pumpkin picking. It did get cut short slightly because it started absolutely tipping it down um so we got in the car and then we went for a little bit of food on the way home we've had a lovely cozy day i think we're gonna get like some little snacks go sit in the playroom and watch clifford the big red dog the movie for maybe like the 12th or 13th time noah is obsessed with clifford the big red dog movie it's the only film that he will actually like sit on the sofa and 
really like watch everything else is kind of a bit like white noise and he doesn't really pay any attention to it but he just seems to really love that film he loves the little red dog um so yeah i think we're gonna watch that and then get an early night what's new but yeah we got our pumpkins and i think we are going to carve them i think next weekend because next weekend is halloween weekend so i think we'll have like a nice cozy evening one night where i'm gonna get some like halloween picky bits from m&s and we can have a little pumpkin carving evening i've just been having a look at ideas for what noah can do for his um because i'm thinking we could carve one for him but then he's not really going to be very involved and i know what noah's like he will not enjoy like getting all of the the insides out because he hates he hates anything like messy being on his hands so i'm thinking maybe we could paint his um let me show you guys what i found so cute it would just be like noah's little thumbprint which will literally be about this big and then i can draw a little ghost on it so i thought that could be cute. yeah thank you all so much for spending time with us over the past few days it's been such a lovely couple of autumn days and yeah i will see you all next weekend love you all so much Bye.